What's that? Uh, one just passed behind you, but way up high. Roger that. I'm gabbing at the camera, and then hopefully I'll be able to actually kill something. There's been a quite a few come by, but they're kind of staying out away from me a little bit. Anarchist Outdoors. I am in the middle of Kentucky Lake. You can see the shoreline way back there. I'm in a layout boat and trying to chase some bluebills. I'm on a spot, set up on a spot that we scouted yesterday and there was a raft of probably two, three, four hundred bluebills right in this area. So we came out and set up this morning. Beth is in the tender boat out there. And I'm going to see if those bluebills come back in. We scooted quite a few bubbleheads out of here when we were setting up in the dark this morning. And I just have not seen any bluebills yet. So I'm hoping they show up. All right, I'm almost ready. I've had a quite a few flybys. I think I stole your gloves. Tender, aka Neva. I'm not sure if I hit that one or not. I shot to flush it, and then I shot at it two more times, but I had a hard time staying out of the decoys. I didn't want to tear the decoys up. And it landed about 100 yards outside the spread. So I'll keep an eye on it and see if it's hit. I'm kind of surprised that it landed that close, so it might be hit. Yeah, I was watching you all gabbing to my camera, and it looked like you nicked it a little. Got two scoffed out. I saw that. The one that you shot at, she's still looking good, isn't she? Yeah, she looks okay. Well, I had a group of three scop come in, decoyed in very nicely, cupped up, and were coming in. I hope I caught that on the GoPro. I'm pretty sure I did. And I missed them, the group on the first shot, and then knocked two of them down with the second shot. So some of the scop have come back, but there were several hundred here yesterday, so I'm hoping that they keep filtering in. I need to know what direction when you do that. Yeah, that one. Oh, right on. This might be my limit of scop. Probably ought to switch out since I got three birds. 
Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then maybe we can put out that other raft if you want. Just picked up another blue bill. Oh shit, there's ducks. I'll come get you. No, I'll come get the duck and then get you and then we can do the raft and then I'll get into the boat. Right on. So I just picked up another blue bill and I'm limited out on bluebills now. There isn't a lot of bluebill movement, but man, the ones that come across the reservoir and come into this spread, they just come right in. There's no hesitation. It's actually a beautiful thing. So we're going to switch out, get Beth in the layout boat, and I'm going to get in the tender, and then we'll see if we can get her some action. Is it a Scott? Okay, I got it. Suit, we got our dirty laundry hanging from the boat. <laughs> well, we've been at it a couple hours now, and I got my limit of scop, and now Beth's doing her turn in the layout boat, and I'm running the tender. And there's still birds moving here and there, but for some reason they're staying a little bit outside the spread. So we're gonna wait and see what happens. She's trying to get covered up a little bit better and get the right colors on, and then we still can't get anything going we might go pull the motion the flock flickers that we put in the decoy spread to create motion because you never know maybe that's spooking them probably not but who knows but they seem to be a little bit shy now she's had a couple scop come by and quite a few buffle heads and a few golden eyes and uh, just nothing really within reach well it's gotten slow I think we're gonna call it a day I got those three scop pretty quick. Okay, but give me like maybe 10 more minutes because now we're starting to get a little bit of Right on, we'll give it another 10 minutes. So we're going to give it 10 minutes. There's some birds moving now. And Beth needs some shooting. She needs to get some more. So we'll give it 10 more minutes, see what happens. I thought we were going to get scop decoying in nicely all day but it just hasn't materialized there's a few birds moving around still but uh not what i had hoped but i got that quick limit of scop and uh we'll probably after this 10 minutes we'll call it quits pickup and then maybe do some more scouting and see what we can find for tomorrow morning So, I thought I was feeling some vibrations, and I was. Luckily, there is a marine repair place, like, less than a quarter mile from here. The guy's going to come out and see if he can get me fixed up, because these are... I don't know if the lugs came loose on this thing. I've, I have not had this wheel off or maybe something's going on in the bearings and that caused looseness between the hub and the wheel and then everything shredded from there I just don't know I'm gonna get the wheel off and then uh, see what's going on see if the hub is gonna be any good but definitely a setback in our scouting for today it's, it's trashed it's like barely hanging on. Wow, people are really pissed. Yeah, so we luckily sort of are like a mile away from a boat shop. This middle of the nowhere guy has a boat shop and we called him and he came and he's like, yeah, okay, let's, let's try and drive it to my shop. So right now we're driving a mile down the road. It's taking us a long time because we're barely moving because the wheel's barely attached and we don't want Neva laying on the side of the road or I guess laying in the middle of the road. So we'll see how this goes. We're like really close. No. Quiet. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Southwest Outdoors, out. Beth, what color's the water? Brown, brown, brown. Where's the Kamami River? It's bad. Brown. Brown. What color is it, Tessie? <laughs>